What up, y'all? How's it going? It's your boy Euphoria from Into Euphoria here. As I always say, it's not just a name. It's a whole It's a whole vibe. It's a whole energy. It's a whole all that. Um, again, thank you for all of you know the good feedback I get on these uh, little Let's Talk videos. So let's do another one. Today, I want to talk, I would like to talk about, um, you know, this news, you know, with Jennifer Lopez referring to um, her child, you know, using a the pronoun they. Now, I, I'm going to tell you why in particularly this kind of touches me. Um, I'm not quite speaking on it in a sense of, you know, the pride and, you know, w what type of choices, you know, her child makes. That's truly actually none of my business. And at the end of the day, we don't know what type of decisions and what type of conversations they have behind closed doors, you know, about that. Um, what I like about this is because in my opinion, I, I like it because to me, it's parenting done right, you know. And I further say that because in previous generations, there was kind of like this energy and this whole vibe of, of honestly ownership, like people trying to own other people, whether it's parents feeling like they own their kids, bosses feel like they own their employees or God forbid slavery. So you know, there was like this energy of owning ownership, of owning people. And the truth is, all of us are free at the end of the day, in our heart, in our spirit. So whenever you try to put that kind of intense, you know, energy on trying to own somebody, it will inevitably kick back. Because at the end of the day, in our own heart, in our own spirit, we're 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 free. You know what I'm saying? We're 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 not meant for that. So people have tendencies to kind of like want to own their kids. The only reason why people are really getting upset about it is because what you're trying to do is forecast what you think and what you feel onto your child. You know what I'm saying? And And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, as as someone that's a leader, someone that's a parent, it's all about love and supporting your child. You know, you, you got to give people space to to figure out to figure themselves out. You know, I'm not saying, you know, that's that's her child's final decision or not. But the beauty about it is now you as a parent, you gave them the space to explore that without having pressure and intensity, you know, on it to try to rebel against it. Because now that's just creating static between you and your child. A lot of people wonder why they don't have the best relationship with their child. I can practically promise you. I don't know all of y'all business, but I can promise you it has something to do with you trying to own their lives. You know what I'm saying? You trying to control their lives. Keeping them out of danger. That I understand. But, you know, something like this, just give them love and support. You know, have them work through it themselves. Maybe at the end of the day, you know, she would say, yeah, mom, you know, I was just, I was just kind of a face. We all go through phases. What amazes me is people have children and tend to forget that they was once someone's children, you know what I'm saying? Or, or a child to someone else, you know what I'm saying? They tend to forget you was once a child too. You went through the same thing too. You, you, you wanted that same freedom as well. And the more someone is trying to restrict that away from you, the more you want to break out. This is just the nature of life. What do you mean? That's like even a dog know this. Dog is probably the most loving creature on the entire, entire, entire planet, quite possibly. Lock a dog up in the, try to lock a dog up in the cage all day and watch what happens. Same thing with a bird. Try to lock a bird up in the cage. I'm talking 24 seven and watch what happens. It's because it's just our nature to be free. So when people try to, anyway, back to my point, I like this. Because, in my opinion, it's parenting done right. You're providing support 
and genuine love uh, for for the child that you gave birth to. You know, and at the end of the day, that's all you can do. At the end of the day, that's all you need because now this child grows up healthy, you know, because they was loved properly. You know what I'm saying? That's such a convoluted word these days, you know, because it it's just goes all over the place. But anyway, just wanted to drop a quick word on that. Personally, I I appreciate that because it's parenting done right. It's respecting your children respecting correction respecting the child you gave birth to respecting their space respecting their mind um in a non-confrontational way and in my personal opinion for what that's worth i say that's a beautiful way to move forward you know as we evolve as a civilization and get out of this ownership mentality you do not own your children you can try it watch what's going to happen once again, man, it's Euphoria. I always appreciate the love, the support, and the comments. Tell me what you think about it below. This is actually a great conversation to talk about. And, you know, I'll just, just keep them coming. That's what it's all about. Love, for real.